Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So from the title of this video you can see that I am going to be doing a little roundup of my monthly favourites. I actually cannot believe how quick this year has gone. It's actually quite scary but July has ended now and we are going into August. By the time you're watching this it's probably already in August. It's just crazy but I thought I'd do a little roundup because I quite like to do these here and there just to kind of capsulate what I've been really adoring. Something that I just keep using any new bits any old bits and yeah i really hope you enjoy this and as always i will leave everything down below if you want to go and check them out and i hope you enjoy okay so first up i'm going to talk about jewelry because i will definitely forget but I have received some beautiful pieces from Monica Veneda over the last couple of years. Some from my some from my partner and also my family as well as Monica Veneda themselves. I'm very, very grateful and still pinned myself that I can collaborate with Monica Veneda on some gorgeous pieces. So new bits are these earrings. They actually come with little pearls. Um, but what I love about them as well is that you can remove those pearls and then just have them as little rings. So I'm thinking a little bit fancy I add the pearls in and then there is this beaded necklace beaded necklaces I feel are so in at the moment they're very that kind of boho travelers kind of summer vibe and I absolutely love them and then so I have this beautiful more focused on turquoise um, jewelry piece Monica Veneda and what I love about it as well if I can find it is that it's got a really gorgeous chain gorgeous chain and I think that just looks really pretty and I really love layering this up with my other pieces next which I have on is this nice bangle this gorgeous bangle that I got from my partner for my birthday as well as this one I actually got this a couple of years ago from my mum and dad and I absolutely love it and I actually have a matching necklace which is a favorite of mine which I layer up with this one as well so I'll leave that down below and then on this side I have my Monica Veneda kind of like a friendship bracelet and it's got some random gold rectangles as well as this Miss Soma chain so very gold heavy but I really adore these oh and this is also from a company called Tinkerling they do these gorgeous personalization uh, bracelets and I've gone for a rose quartz with a yellow I can't remember the yellow stone and it says ciao and also as well I must say I'm absolutely loving these nails. I think these are my favorite nails of the month. I usually get them done like once a month or twice a month, but potentially of the summer. So I don't know if that's focusing. Oh, this. There you go. So I get my nails done. If you follow me for a while, you probably already know and follow her from my lovely friend Beth. Her Instagram name is BW Nails. She is Brighton based. I will leave her down below. If you've like I said, been following me for a while over on Instagram. I share loads of reels and IGTVs of how we create these and they are just so incredible and I just absolutely love these. Usually I go for quite a neutral, simplistic art design like the French tips. Um, but this time around I went a little bit extravagant and went for a bit of colour but they still look quite like simple and aesthetically pleasing um, but yeah I just absolutely adore them so I'll quickly show you I've, as I've got this on me the Monica Veneda pearl necklace which is very extravagant and oh my god I was so honoured when this arrived how stunning is that like even as well when it's paired up with the beaded necklace I think that just looks so beautiful just such an incredible summer necklace especially if you have like really like minimalistic dresses on stunning I absolutely love that then I'm going to go into beauty because I only actually have a couple of things but these are things that I've been grabbing and absolutely adoring first off I did a partnership with Iconic London I think beginning of the month and I have been hand on my heart absolutely adoring this as well as my skin has actually cleared up quite a bit recently um, and I've been really enjoying my makeup routine so what I've been doing is using the Iconic Radiance Booster and I'm in the shade Sand Glow it's literally you can see it's nearly nearly done and it's this gorgeous like it's quite like if you know about the by Terry CC serum it's quite like that and it's this really lovely lighter than a tinted moisturizer and it's just got this really gorgeous this really lovely filtered kind of product which has this gorgeous glow on it 
and it is absolutely beautiful so i've been actually just using that as a base as my foundation and then just applying concealer and i just think that just creates a really lovely coverage i'm actually actually wearing it now and you can see it's just super glowy i've still got powder on and i absolutely love it so i've been really loving that so if you are looking for kind of like a really light foundation which you can just apply with concealer where you just want a little bit more coverage this is incredible at a really affordable price also cruelty free and vegan another one that i've been loving is the kate somerville this is the daily deflector mineral sunscreen i just love to apply an extra like layer of spf especially in the summer i do use spf every day during the winter as well just because um you can still um get those uv rays and apparently it's actually really bad and anti-agent pro agent i don't know the right terminology for it but in the summer i'm going to be using a little bit more just to be a little bit wary of my skin so like i said this has got the broad spectrum spf 30 and yeah absolutely love it really lovely on my skin and it goes really lovely with makeup when you're applying it um and so what i usually do is either apply it on its own um so if i'm going for a run in the morning or I'm going for a walk i'll just quickly chuck this on um but also as well i apply it on mix mixing it up with my daily moisturizer or i do a different layer um but yeah really loving this again cruelty free and yeah i just think it's a really really good brand and a really good spf another beauty of another beauty favorite of mine is the joe loves red truffle 21 i was very excitedly invited to do a pr event with her i think it was again the beginning of the beginning of july which is very scary how quick that's gone and we did a pasta evangelist event with them and it was just it was so lovely and just so fun i had such a good time and jo malone herself was just the loveliest lady just so normal um and it was in celebration of the relaunch of the summer red truffle 21 and oh my goodness it is beautiful if you are a lover of fig fragrances i would really recommend this when you think of truffle and fragrance i don't think you would think they would pair well together because truffle usually would have a quite a garlicky like relationship or like kind of people recognize truffle like all truffle pasta like quite garlicky um but this fragrance is absolutely stunning and it's just such a beautiful scent joe loves is just such an incredible brand and it is a definitely definitely worth the investment and it lasts such a long time and it's definitely you definitely notice the difference when you invest into a higher price fragrance so it just lasts longer on your skin and yeah the quality is just beautiful so if you're looking for a fragrance maybe perhaps for someone to gift you or you to gift them i would really recommend the joe loves red truffle 21 an absolute hero next up is a bag and it's from a company called raya or roya they kindly got in contact with me over on instagram and yeah they they create beautiful personalized products and one of them was this gorgeous cloud pouch bag i had to pick the orange for summer um and also as well they kindly offered to do a bit of personalization so i if you can see it there they've done a drawing of a shell like quite rustic and i absolutely love it and if i was able to get away this summer then that would be the dream bag but yeah i've just been really enjoying it it's just like a really good size you can get so much in it and i've actually been using it as well as kind of like an inner bag in a bigger bag so it just has currently again all my stuff in it but it's massive it just opens up large and also as well it comes with a strap and you can definitely alter it you can see here you can just like tuck it in like so so it's a little bit shorter which i think is just fab but i just think these bags are so classic so trendy as well at the moment and as well look at that really cool and as well a fraction of the Bottega prices so you can either use the straps as like a little holder which is really cute absolutely love this and i really love the color they do have it in a mixture of colors in like black cream orange metallic gold absolutely stunning i just think the quality is beautiful and i've just been really loving to pair this um with neutral colors just like pretty much mostly white dresses i absolutely i'll leave a picture here actually of me wearing it um but yeah really love this bag accessory wise is a pair of sunglasses these are some fendi sunglasses 
glasses that I got last year and I absolutely adore them. They only kind of come out when I'm feeling a little bit bougie. I feel like they're a bit more of a summer sunglass um, just because they're quite big. So I actually like to pair them with quite like dainty styled outfits. I feel like they're a bit too bold for the winter. I may change my mind this year. Um, but yeah, I've actually rediscovered that they are back in stock in Farfetch. So I will leave them down below. But they're this really gorgeous tortoise styled um, material with the F and F logo all over it, and then you've got big gold um, F logo Fendi logos on the the legs, the arms. But yeah, I just think they're just really lovely, very classic sunglasses, and I really like how they frame my face. Um, and I love that they've got a little bit of a cat eye as well, so very elegant, I really like those. Next up is a pair of, well, two pairs of shoes, but firstly I'm going to talk about some new ones. I got some New Balances, a brand that I've actually never bought trainers from, but they are very trendy at the moment, um, and yeah, I feel like I was influenced to get them. Um, so I got them in this really nice colourway and I just think they're really lovely and neutral. I'm trying to be really careful because they're made out of fabric and suede but then they go up at the back here with the rubber. They are super comfortable and really affordable as well. I think they were like £70 and I think I got 10% off with them at Urban Outfitters so I'll leave those down below for you guys. True to size and yeah like I said super comfortable just go with everything especially this time of year. Um, very trans transitional as well because they're neutral but yeah really comfortable and yeah really enjoying them a little bit chunky as well just really like this style of shoe at the moment so again if you've been following me for a while then you will definitely know about these i feel like these are my kind of at the moment are most asked about question unfortunately these are discontinued i think I think they might bring them back. But I bought these last year and absolutely adored them and scuffed them up so much because I just wore them so, so much and actually gutted about how scuffed they got. They shouldn't have really got that scuffed with the price tag that they are. But there are these Fendi sandals, which I absolutely adore. And I've just had them reupholstered by a company called Handbag Clinic. They restore bags and shoes, but also as well, they actually sell them on. So if you are looking for secondhand designer pieces, then definitely go and check them out as well. Um, unfortunately, I'm not selling these, um, but yeah, I got them redone. So the tops were really scuffed. Um, as you can see here though, the paint on the bottom just, it's just not staying. So I'm just gonna have to ignore that now. Um, but they just cleaned them up so beautifully. I absolutely love what they've done. So it took them around eight weeks, I think. They were really inundated over lockdown, bless them. And then they had to reduce their staffs due to COVID as well. Um, so it took a little bit longer, but they were super lovely. Really, really good with customer service. And yeah, I'm really pleased that I've got my sandals back because I literally am going to wear them time and time again and again. So they'll probably go for another repair, re zhuzh maybe in the winter just so they're ready for next year because I don't want to buy as much as I do want to buy a new pair. I don't because I do love these. I love these on my feet. I'm a bit funny about my feet. Um, but these make my feet look pretty and I think these are just super comfortable and instead of investing into a new pair, I don't mind just giving them a little zhuzh here and there. Um, but yeah, absolutely adore these. They're back out as it's summer and I just love wearing them with everything, dresses, jeans, well, I don't really like wearing jeans, but trousers, maxi dresses, shorts, they just go with everything. And they feel a little bit smarter, I think, just because of the, they're a bit designer. So I really like to, if I do, invest into accessories because you can then just make an outfit a bit more um, classic, a little bit more chic. Um, so yeah, so absolutely love these. Last two pieces are fashion. Oh, a grey cloud is going over our head. Um, so this two piece from Pretty Lavish, I've been absolutely adoring. I've shown on my Instagram like three ways of how I'd style it, but it's just this really lovely kind of like oatmeal kind of, it's not linen, it's a bit thicker than linen. I actually don't know. Oh, linen and cotton. Yeah, a mixture of linen and cotton. Um, and it's a two-piece. It does come in pink as well, I think, but I love this material so much. 
it's really nice and structured so as like as much as I do adore linen linen creases like no tomorrow which can be quite annoying um because it means you have to get the iron out all the time what I really like about this is it's kind of like a mixture of you can wear this in the city and you can wear it down at the beach so it comes with these gorgeous shorts which are stretchy at the back as well which is perfect so I got the shorts in an extra small and the shirt in the lot in a small I think the shirt is the shirt in the small is the smallest it can go we can go down extra small in the shorts um i would actually recommend going down a size in pretty lavish as well um just because they do have the stretchy bits at the back um so yeah it's perfect and yeah i've been loving wearing this as one piece but also as well like styling it up with maybe a shirt or a cami top underneath or just styling the um, pieces separately. I just think it's an incredible two piece. And it also comes in pink as well. Pretty, lash Pretty Lavish also do a jumpsuit in this material as well, which I absolutely love. Um, it's just like a really lovely structured material and it's not too thick, which is a bonus. And last but not least is of course a blazer. I have been absolutely adoring this blazer. This is from Zara. It's seen the dry cleaners a couple of times and I think it may need to go back to the dry cleaners. I am such a mucky pup, it's ridiculous. Um, and every time I wear white, I somehow get it down me. Um, but it's this really lovely, I don't know if you can see it that well, but it's this really lovely off-white cream material and it's just really lovely. Also as well, I think with this material, it makes it really um, versatile for dressing up and dressing down. I got it in a size large because I quite like blazers being oversized. And yeah, I literally wear it all the time. It's just the perfect summer blazer. But yeah, guys, that is the end of my monthly favourites. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like I said previously, everything will be linked down below. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.